Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will take a look at how to use GPU instead of CPU in Windows. Now don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're updated whenever we upload a new video. Stick until the very end so you don't miss a single detail. Now the first thing that we will do is you need to go ahead and identify that you have correctly connected your monitor to the GPU instead of the CPU. Now what does that look like? Well, let's take a look at a computer case right here. And for this one, usually we would have a HDMI cable. Now usually the cable that you would use is a HDMI, but there are two options right here. So we have one up here and we have one down here. The correct one that will utilize this GPU is actually this one right here. So this is the motherboard right here. So if you plug in right here then it will connect directly to the cpu so you need to make sure that you are using this connection for hdmi or if you have a display port then just go right on ahead and use these ones right here now we can go ahead and change the display settings into using a gpu all we need to do is we need to go to our computer settings so all you need to do is search for settings and then you should be able to see something like this and then we're going to go to systems right here and then we're going to be clicking on display now we're going to scroll all the way down until we can see graphics right here so just go right on ahead and click on it and then you should be able to see all of the individual apps right here and as you can see it's currently using power saving mode so power saving is usually using cpu so if you want to go ahead and change this into a gpu all you need to do is select the app itself and then click on options and then you should be able to see whichever ones it is currently using so at the moment right here so as you can see i don't have an intel cpu but i have an intel gpu so power saving and high performance is the same but usually power saving is connected to the cpu and high performance is what's connected to your gpu there is also this optimizations right here or you can just go ahead and choose what this does is that it will automatically optimize to utilize the gpu whenever you are in gaming now if the program or the app that you want to use gpu is not here then all you need to do is to look for it so just go ahead and click on browse and then look for the item itself usually within a normal installation it is found within your programs so it will be right here all right here so say for example that we want to add google chrome so let's just go into program files and then we're going to go down until we can see google chrome application and then you should be able to see the dot exe right here or an application file just go ahead and click add on this and then you should be able to see that google chrome is one of them and then just go ahead and click on options select high performance Go ahead and save and then whenever you run google chrome now then this will run in using gpu now to automatically optimize that for gaming then if you have the options of gaming right here just go ahead and click on this and then we're going to go to game mode and then we should be able to see game mode right here just make sure to turn this on now if you have an nvidia gpu then there is an even faster way to set this for every single thing all you need to do is to download the nvidia control panel so just go ahead and download this in the microsoft store go ahead and search for nvidia control panel right here and then you should be able to see something like this now all you need to do is to go on and open up the nvidia control panel and then you should be able to see manage 3d settings right here and then within manage 3d settings then you should be able to see something like this where it says preferred graphics processor then just go ahead and click on it and you should be able to go ahead and select for high performance this will then automatically use as much as possible your gpu for all applications and there you go i hope that you have found this tutorial useful see you guys next time